<laughs> On the Bucks side of things, this game played out the way most of their season has. The offense completely out of sorts. Brady did things that were head scratching, inexplicable. I always know where I'm at with Tom Brady. I no longer do. This throw. Uh, huh? This is his first red zone interception since 2019. He and Evans, I mean, you heard Troy, what is going on? It seemed like they were on totally different pages again after we thought, no, 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 they're back. He had a 200 yard game. He had a touchdown. He had a touchdown drop. Now they're like lovey dovey again. Everything's good. No. And the defense, also talented, did not play up to their potential in this one either. So the speculation, the takeaway is that it's over and it's all going to happen just like it is with Aaron Rodgers, but in a different way because, you know, we saw him leave Brady the field. And he's at home, he's kissed, there's his parents, kissing his parents, and we're all gonna speculate, and we should, we don't know what's going on, and he leads us on to believe different things. We didn't see this, though, last year. I was at that game, and we went back and watched the highlights, because I never even saw the broadcast of it. I was, uh, I was in Tampa for this one. He, I remember, got beat up by the Rams, loses to the Rams, his face was bleeding at one point, and he left the field, and it was just, I don't know. I don't, uh, there was no parents in the field. There were no pictures being taken, none of that. Um, and he sat at the podium and he said, uh, or stood at the podium rather, and said, I need to figure out what I'm doing. I need some time. This feels different. And it's fair to, uh, you know, he said, I want to play till I'm 45. Like, okay, well, there's 45 birthday candles on the cake. You did it, kid. The question for Tom Brady is, is it enough? Is it enough? Uh, and I think, do we have the Tom Brady uh, sound? We do. Let's go to him post game and hear what he had to say after this loss. I just want to say thank you guys for everything this year. I really appreciate all your effort. And I know it's hard for you guys, too. It's hard for us players to make it through. And you guys got a tough job. And I appreciate all that you guys do to cover us and everyone who watches and is a big fan of the sport. We're very grateful for everyone's support. And, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I love this organization. It's a great place to be. And thank you, everybody, for welcoming me. All you regulars, and um, just very grateful for the respect, and I and, uh, hope I gave the same thing back to you guys. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Like you hope you gave the same thing back after like this season? Like are we, It seems like a goodbye, right? It's hard to imagine Brady staying there as well with how they're playing, what they look like. Um, and it's also hard to imagine him wanting to go out on that type of performance. That's the question. What is enough? What if you never get back there? Are we going to have to bring a shepherd's hook in and take you out? Like, cause you, you're going to want to leave on top. And if you, if Brady goes somewhere else, Raiders, great. Let's go. You're going to go to the AFC West and contend with, you know, what's going on with Justin Herbert and, and Patrick Mahomes out out there, like. And maybe somebody comes in and turns Russell Wilson around. Like, will you win then? And let's say you do go to the AFC West or any division, any team, and you win. Is that going to be, are you finally then going to be like, okay, I won at 46, I won at 47, and now I'm good to walk away? Or are you going to have that same adrenaline and say, like, I still, like, how does this movie end? Uh, we don't know. I would love to know how everybody else thinks uh, at uh, Up and Adam Show. I will say, I listened to his Let's Go podcast radio that he does um, with Jim Gray and Larry Fitzgerald was on yesterday. And hearing, you know, Brady before the game, it was just very, not, not nonchalant, but optimistic, almost like, I'm just going to go enjoy it. Like, we got to play the game. We're ready. We're prepared. Like, let's go out there and do it. It was very, uh, like, oh, let's walk through the casino, put 20 on black. Oh, I lost 20 bucks. Like, let me walk out. It was different. It just all felt different. And I'm not going to go into the personal life part of it because none of us know that. None of it, like all these like Giselle gifts, like you're all idiots for putting those up, just wasting your own time. We don't know anything about that and that what that would play into or not play into. We will not know unless he were to tell us. Um, but we're all just speculating, I guess, on, on what he wants and what is enough. It used to be what does he want, what would make him happy. Playing football makes him happy. We know that from him. We know that from his actions. We know that from his close friends like Rob Gronkowski, who'll be on our show tomorrow. And we'll ask him the same thing. He just wants to be happy. Playing football makes him happy. How does it end? That's the question. What and when is enough?